Really? I can't believe this thing stopped videotaping. Okay. This is my wild garden. Here's my box for gathering. I came out to wild harvest. I just did a whole video without hitting record again. Tomatoes. Only I would be getting on some nice tomatoes after the frost has already hit and after it's been in the 30s. Rose of Sharon. Quite a few of those. Lots of dandelions and dandelion root. Yellow clover. Meadow sage. See, there's one of the. <laughs> those purple spikes. Just got on the seed on that. Rosemary. Which is a must have for me at all times. Um, over here, this is going to be a regular garden next year. I know this poor bush needs moved and I don't know where to move it, but it has the most beautiful red flowers on it in the spring. I put down the cardboard to try to squelch out some of, huh, okay, a lot of work. And this, of course, branches <laughs> off my trees from when it gets windy. I see a jersey. One of that's one of just one of you can see over the house, another tree in the front yard. And another big tree here. So I have three very large trees. And if you can look, you can see my grill over here and realize that that tree is actually wider than my grill. These are all maples. I love my maple trees. So anyway, I'm going to get to what I'm harvesting because I can't believe I lost a whole video. And here's some, uh, I'm trying to think of what kind of seeds, but look at this. Look at these bugs. Every time I come out here, they're on these seed pods. I don't know. I have to look these up, but whatever it is, they love these seeds. And I think... This is like a morning glory. Not sure, because the one had flowers on it. I didn't get out here that day and they were gone, so I'm pretty sure that's a morning glory. Not sure, but pretty sure. Um, goldenrod. So I'll be out here in this little, and this is just a little teeny tiny space. See, I can make you seasick. It's the, as wide as the gate coming in. And it's not very deep. So it's just my little wild area. The yard's mowed, of course. But these are my little wild area. I can live in this city, but it doesn't mean that I can't wild craft and I can't collect. I do collect. I also have several honeysuckles. Those, um, of course, bloom in the spring. And I don't take too much off of those because the hummingbirds love, love, love them. Some more goldenrod. Actually, it's been set there, it looks like. It has. Interesting, by its roots. A piece of it pulled up. But this will be garden, garden, garden next year. For food. I haven't lived here long enough to get all that done. There are trumpet vines on this fence. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. And I just thought I'd check in. So, happy wild crafting. And again, happy sewing. Much love, all. Mm, blessed be.